the report. So, Anira, can you give us uh, what is the latest update and what will your report be? Currently, we are in front of the private house of the non-active inspector general, Ferdi Sambo. So, like you could see behind me, currently the situation in here is quite crowded with a lot of media and a lot of extra security measurements. Like you could see, there is uh, the vehicle from the mobile brigade corps, as well as what we have seen in here. There are around uh, seven uh, extra uh, security personnel who are make sure to guard this place. So earlier, before. We are going on live. Uh, the lawyer of the Paris Sambo has just entered the building and we are still not going to get much details about what is actually happening inside there. So the private house of the non-active inspector general of Paris Sambo is actually a new, a new finding which is turned out to be also a crime, uh, uh, allegedly a crime scene. So like I mentioned before, this is a new finding because uh, previously we focused more on the office house itself on his working office house to be the crime scene but however there is new finding that this is also related to the death of the brigadier Joshua itself and earlier today so this is actually come as a surprise all of the personnel the extra security measurements from the mobile brigade corps they have been here since later this afternoon and in this place earlier this morning there is also a personnel from the victim and witness protection program where they did an assessment to the wife of the non-active inspector general, Ferdi Sambo. So earlier today, uh, the wife of the non-active inspector general, Ferdi Sambo, Mrs. Uh, Putri Chandrawati, so the, she has received an assessment from the representative, there are four of them, from the Victim and Witness Protection Agency, and they want to know, because the wife itself already proposed to them to meet them several times, however, today is the first time that she actually met them, so they want to assess her psychological condition after the tragic incident as well as receive additional information regarding about what is uh, happening during the tragic incident itself. And currently we are still waiting to see uh, another update while in the headquarters of the National Police itself. It is scheduled that after uh, in this evening there will be an additional press conference where they will announce a new update regarding this case itself. So this is, is still developing and we'll continue to give you further updates about this back to the studio. Thank you very much for your report, Andira Putri. That was reporting live from Jalan Saguling, Duren Tiga, Jakarta Selatan, and that is actually yeah. the official residence of Inspector General Ferdi Sambo. And it's really interesting to um, continue this case and to follow this case um, because previously the um, spokesman of the police has said that the police chief, Listio Sikit, General Listio Sikit, will um, um, announce himself about the potential new suspect. So currently there are three suspects, although the police has named two suspects, but Mahfud MD the Minister of Coordinating Political and um, Security Affairs has stated that there are the third, there is the third suspect, which is the driver of Ferdi Sambo named Kuat. And it is predicted that the chief police today, it is approximately at 4 at 5 p.m., will announce the fourth suspect. And we are still looking forward to knowing who will be the new suspect in this case. And we'll be reporting right here at 3 hours station. That's correct. And we're going for another quick break now. But when we come back, Maria will deliver some economics and also business updates. So stay tuned right here at the 3 Hours News Show on C today.